Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, well, I got a request uh, from another YouTube user uh, to explain about hooking up a fan uh, with heatsink to his um, truck. Now he's got uh, the HSP Knight, I believe it is. This is actually my uh, HSP Ghost that's been converted from Truggy to Monster Truck. Same inside guts, everything. Uh, but this is for any RC, uh, not just this one specifically. Now, I have just a straight heat sink on here, which I find is actually more than adequate for cooling the motor with. Um, even if you have a fan on your motor on something this small, well, I don't know how much better a fan is going to help, but it might, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, as far as hooking the fan up, one of the easiest ways uh, so that you're not disrupting your battery um, would be to go off your power connector here. Now you've got positive and negative. Um, now you also got to decide if you want the uh, air to blow onto the heat sink to cool it or if you want it to suck air away. So sucking the hot air away to help cool it. Um, so that's going to depend on which way you wire your wires up because the fan will travel in both directions, okay, forward or reverse. So my, my advice on that would be to simply splice into the wire of the positive and the negative. Just take um, a lighter or um, if you can even stretch into the silicone to peel it back. Um, usually this silicone wire you usually can. Uh, so you may not be able to heat it to get the wire to show uh, because the silicone does take extremely high high temps so you may actually have to cut into this um, and then just the casing only don't cut the wire and just let the wire show a little bit on each side and then solder on a wire to your positive side and a wire to your negative side now I'm using alligator clips as an example here and then of course positive to positive, negative to negative. See which way the fan goes. If it's drawing air away from the motor, you know, then it's sucking the hot air away. If you want it to blow air onto the motor, okay, onto the heat sink to cool the heat sink as well as keeping the motor cooled, then you need to reverse the polarity going to the fan itself, okay? So, and it doesn't matter, like I said, the fan will run both directions. So, but that's how you would do it that way. The other alternative would be to cut your plug off, leaving enough wire uh, to reconnect with, because you're going to have to restrip the casings on each end, and then solder everything together that way. But it's a lot less hassle if you can peel some of this skin back, um, you know, and do it that way and twist the wire on and solder it in place and then cover it with electrical tape after because you don't want these two to short. That's one alternative um, you can do. Now if you want to try like a speed controlled type fan, um, depending on the fan, that's where you got to watch it because you don't want to overdraw from the ESC. Okay, if it's a very, very low powered fan that can handle the 7 volts, because that's the important thing is you're putting 7.2 volts on a NIM or 7.4 from a LiPo, uh, your fan has to be able to handle that voltage. So another way you can do that would be to go right off the motor wires and just solder an extra wire onto each. And then when you are driving, the fan is active. When you stop, the fan will even shut down. Okay, and again, you can wire the fan for either uh, drying the heat out or blowing the heat onto the heat sink to keep the heat sink cool. So as the motor heats up and heats up the heat sink, the heat sink will help keep the motor cooler. That's another way uh, to do it. Um, so then it's an on and off type of thing. So just like I said, you got to be careful on the fan too of what kind of um, amperage it draws. So it may be more beneficial on some uh, RC machines to just go right off your battery connector. So this way you don't blow anything up. So, you know, in whichever way you do it, hey, that's up to you. I'm not responsible for any of the mistakes you make. Um, you know, I just know of ways that you can do it. And it's very simple and easy to do. 
you know but it is very important that if you are going off of your battery connector to your uh, ESC then you need to strip the wire casings back somehow and of course your wires have to go on each one okay and you decide whether or not you want that fan to push air on or draw air out okay now if you're going to ask me for my opinion and advice I would rather uh, suggest having the air blow onto the heat sink instead of drawing the hot air away uh, because it would cool it faster if it's blowing directly on the heat sink um, and that keeps the heat sink cooler or colder um, which means the motor as it heats up won't be able to heat up the heat sink as much okay whereas if you're drawing the hot air away your engine's getting really hot it's heating up your heat sink so the only thing that's getting cooled down uh, really is your heat sink it's not cooling down the temperature as much at the motor end so I would suggest having the air blow onto the heat sink keeps the heat sink running cool so as the motor heats up to heat up the heat sink the heat sink stays cooler it can help keep the temperature down better on the motor and that would be my advice on that one and uh, you know I've done stuff like this before and that's the way I found for myself and for the projects I worked on with RCs that seemed to work the better way now I really don't see the necessity myself for that sort of a rig up on a car like this but the motor does get hot even with the heat sink there and no extra cooling um, so it does help give you longer motor life um, this motor has been in here for the better part of I guess over a year now with this heat sink and this motor is done wonderful but without the heat sink you will pop motors pretty uh, quick in comparison um, and this motor is still going strong so you know I've been fine with this kind of a cooling setup and it works fine and now a lot of guys ask me where do you get this heat sink because I know you're gonna ask this heat sink came from a helicopter made by Libero or Libeo it's their big airwolf helicopter anyways a company called Fella RC carries parts uh, for that particular helicopter and these heat sinks are a perfect fit for this motor um, because they use the same size of motor in the airwolf helicopter so this was able to go on I actually only had to just flex it in just a hairball and uh, it's snug as a bug and uh, I've had no issues and you get a pack of two of them for about four bucks you know so you know it's pretty good deal and uh, so look up for the airwolf helicopter it's uh, they only have two models left on the list that they're supporting um, and you'll see which one it is it's the 80 Oh, I can't remember the, the number on it, but I do have another video actually on this truck and explaining the heat sink and the exact model of the heli. You know, I just don't remember it offhand off the top of my head. But um, there's other places you can get these heat sinks as long as they fit this size of a motor. You're ready to rock and roll and you can, you know, get different uh, heat sinks from other places. But that's where I dealt for mine. So, but anyway, um, hopefully that explains it. As far as coming off the battery itself, uh, like physically, I wouldn't do it because you got to take your battery out of your car to charge it, or you may have multiple batteries. So you know that's kind of a bit of a drag. So I would, I would go off the battery connector, off the receiver here, and then as soon as you plug it in, the fan starts running, and away you go. And there's no interference. You're not going to overdraw anything from the ESC at all. You could overdraw if you're going to do it from the motor wires and have it activate when you drive and deactivate when you stop. Okay, so that's your choice. In some machines this can work well. In this machine, I don't know for sure. It's up to you to experiment with that. But anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Any other questions, uh, you know, I, I do my best to answer them uh, regarding that little modification. Um, and uh, go from there. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.